Deception in marketing. There are many people in, the, in, in our industry where turnover and price points are the focus. So, if you were one of those people and convincing people that your product is the best choice, would you focus their attention on your pretty average performance at 20 gigahertz? Or could you advertise that you have 99.999% shielding at 1 gigahertz? If you were a building company and you wanted to market your new apartments with shielding, because more and more people are conscious of the fact that EMF is a problem that is getting worse, and health wasn't really that important to you personally as a builder, would you then have to invest properly in products designed for actual health recoveries based on extensive experience with patients? Or maybe if you just wanted to be able to claim that these apartments have had shielding applied, could you put something much cheaper in your homes with negligible shielding effectiveness and still claim that shielding was indeed applied? Yes, you could. It is misleading because the shielding is of such a quality that you could argue that there is hardly any protection to speak of. And you are selling an idea, a feeling, without actually supplying what the buyer thinks they're going to get. So now that you know a bit more, next time advertising catches your eye, have a closer look. Are they saying 99.9% .9 shielding? and not actually telling you where in the frequency range you're getting that 99.9%? .9 or do they state 99.999% shielding at 0 0.9 gigahertz? If a graph was shown, did they put it upside down to make the curve look better? <laughs>